God says. You're not reading this by accident. I know you failed and you feel like no one will ever forgive you. But, I forgive you. I love you. I love you so much that I send my son to die for you. I have made a way when there seems to be no way. You have to keep trusting me. Type, Amen, if you believe in God. Dear God, as I am walking into this next week, I am going to completely put my trust in you, Lord. I know that you will provide for all my needs, like you always have. Your word says not to worry about anything, but to pray about everything. Lord, thank you for your unconditional love. This week let me be reminded that you are my provider and my protector, and I am so grateful. In Jesus' name. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, may this November bring you all that you need physically, mentally, emotionally, socially and spiritually. May this month be a month of big and bring you big. Big blessings, big love, big opportunities, big peace, big happiness, big faith, big dreams, big accomplishments, big confidence. May November nurture you in ways you never imagined. May this month be filled with ups that outweigh any downs. May this month you be reminded of how important, loved and amazing you are. May you soar and flourish in all that you do this month. And as always may your light shine brighter than even this month. In Jesus' name, Amen. God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies those he calls. You don't need to be perfect to carry out God's mission. We are all deeply floored individuals who fall short of God's glory. But God loves us anyways, he calls us anyways. Don't beat yourself up, you're not perfect. Only Jesus was. Just keep faith and keep pushing. Lord, please raise a shield of protection around my family. Keep them safe from the evils of the world. Protect them from illness, disease, and despair. Bless them with prosperity and joy. Keep them close and filled with your divine grace. Amen. Does anyone want to live a life that is long and prosperous? Then keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. Psalms 34 12-14 NLT Don't skip this prayer Heavenly Father. We come before you on this new day with gratitude in our hearts. Thank you for the love, peace, power, and strength that you provide. We acknowledge your presence working within us and on our behalf. Our hope and trust are firmly placed in you. We recognize you as our deliverer, and we thank you for allowing us to witness your power actively at work in our lives. If God has ever answered your prayer, declare Amen. God is saying to you, You're not reading this by accident. Falling in love with Jesus is a beautiful process. It changes you. Your heart softens. Your spirit becomes gentle. Your mind grows silent. Your love for others increases. Peace is with you. His love dwells inside of you forever. Type Amen and share if you believe. But the thing is, I still choose God. Even when it's hard, even when it doesn't make sense, 
Even when it's taking longer than I ever expected, I still choose him. All I know is I would rather go through this with him than without him. Some parts of God's plan are not going to line up with our emotions or expectations. When God pulls us away from things that are harmful to us after we build a strong attachment to it, our feelings get hurt. No matter how difficult it might seem stick with God. Don't forget it's all going to work out in the end and if he takes it from you he'll replace it with something better. When the Bible says, do not lean on your own understanding, the Bible is being serious. Your heart is deceitful, your emotions fluctuate, your understanding does not see the overall, big picture. God never lies, never changes, he knows all. 1 Peter 2 colon 6 for it stands in scripture, Behold, I am laying in Zirin a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. God blesses you when people mock you, and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad. For a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. Matthew 5 colon 11 12 NLT there is someone out there for you. God will open that door. You didn't wait this long just to end up broken in the end. There is a beautiful story that awaits you. There is a wonderful person that God will soon align you with. Never stop believing. Your desires matter to your Father. Psalm 23 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Don't skip this prayer, Heavenly Father, pass through my house, take away my worries, problems, and any illness, and fill my home with your peace, strength, and prosperity. Please care for and heal my family, my friends, and those who are currently reading this prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. John 14:27. Colossians 1.11 God will strengthen you with his own great power so that you will not give up when troubles come, but you will be patient. May you be filled with joy. Amen. When the Lord saw her, his heart overflowed with compassion. Don't cry, he said. Then he walked over to the coffin and touched it, and the bearers stopped. Young man, he said, I tell you, get up. Then the dead boy sat up and began to talk. And Jesus gave him back to his mother. Luke 7 colon 13 15. Remember, the closer you get to Jesus, he starts cleaning things out of your life that no longer serve him, people, music, situations, he begins to place you in better situations and relationships. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. 1 John 4 colon 7 Lord, my every desire is in front of you. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart races, my strength leaves me, and even the light of my eyes has faded. Psalms 38 9-10 For I put my hope in you, Lord, you will answer me, my Lord, 
my god psalms 38 hours 15 minutes lord do not abandon me my god do not be far from me hurry to help me my lord my salvation psalms 38 21 to 22 don't change yourselves to be like the people of this world but let God change you inside with a new way of thinking. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants for you. You will be able to know what is good and pleasing to Him and what is perfect. Romans 12:2. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Acts 19.5-6 Cast your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you, He will never let the righteous be shaken. Psalms 55 hours 22 minutes No matter how good or bad life gets, Never forget how good God has been to you despite all the times you've betrayed him and promised him you wouldn't go back to that particular sin you keep struggling with. He's never walked away or ignored your prayers even when you didn't keep your word. Amen. Hebrews 12 colon 2 We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith who endured the cross for us. Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. Amen.